Well, in business, we start with the housing industry where Nigeria's housing deficit continues to rise due to lack of adequate infrastructure. Stakeholders in the real estate sector have called on the government to create a more enabling environment that will encourage more investment in tackling this challenge. The made this call at a briefing on infrastructure challenges in housing put together by WIP Africa in Lagos. Blessed Omonose reports. Infrastructure is no doubt a backbone of reducing housing deficit in Nigeria, as the success of any housing system rests majorly on adequate and quality infrastructure development. Over the years, private investors in the real estate space have invested massively in bridging the infrastructure gap, thereby reducing the country's housing deficit through monumental projects that have spurred economic growth. Speakers at this groundbreaking ceremony of Parkway Central and Parkland Apartment, developed by WIP Africa once, gave me to create an enabling environment that will foster business growth and improve the economic fortunes of the citizens. The focus for this apartment is to provide something that can reduce the housing deficit in Nigeria and provide a suitable accommodation for Nigerians. And that is what we are doing with this project. All that government needs to do is not necessarily to provide a house. What government needs to do is to provide the enabling environment so that houses can be provided. And one of those things is infrastructure. You know, infrastructure is the biggest multiplier effect in real estate. If there is no infrastructure, housing is just a shelter. It's infrastructure that make things happen. Co government provides enabling environment, infrastructure. For, you, can, you were here when we were talking about spending 40 million on this bridge. That's supposed to be government responsibility. Provide infrastructure, do the layout, put water, put electricity, put telecommunication, um, whatever, put roads, Put street light, then leave the land, let developers, let builders, let individuals come and build. That is the normal thing to be done. Affordability being our watchword, well, we decided to put up this 150 unit apartments and we bring it down to the minimum cost. On this part, the traditional ruler of Agodo community who lauded the project by WIP Africa Speaks on the impact of the development to the area and by extension, the Lagos economy. It's a very good um, project that will, that, will, that will bring a lot of development to this community. Because people coming from Jakonde, Okota, Ago, Festak can easily link Bokno. And when you link Bokno and you approach this bridge, you pass through this bridge to Agudu, already you are at Ikotun, Egbeda, Axis. So from Egbeda to the airport, you know it's less than 10 minutes drive. So you, you can know how the development will look like. So, and it will ease um, uh, what, what is it called, traffic in this axis as well. For the private sector to continue to make meaningful contribution in solving Nigeria's housing challenges, it is expedient for government to come up with policies and reforms that will support and encourage more investment in the real estate sector. Blessed, Omonuse, TVC News, Lagos.